Welcome back to the duel powered by Dove Men plus Care Pau and Ren still here in the studio. And now we're going to talk about something that we're all looking forward to. It's the international season now. We have siguro one more tournament to go. That's the Summit Nine, but mm -hmm. more yeah. of a fun tournament. Yes. Siguro only four teams. It has always been a fun tournament. It's always been a fun but tournament. But it's minor na siya for it. I know. Yeah, at this point, ano na siya, eh, di ba? Parang it's more of a it's more of a tradition. Right? It's more of a tradition. Yes. You have the the summit before that, but we're not gonna be talking about the summit right now. What we'll be talking about ngayon is that patches. Yes. So for this entire DPC season, we've seen a lot of patches. Some of them have been having effects on the outcomes of majors and minors. Some of the most important tournaments of the year. Yes. But this is the holy grail. This is the World Championships. It's the international season. The question is, should patches be suspended until after TI? Now, there's some very good um, arguments for and against. But we're going to start with you, Ren. Do you think we need to yung patches before TI? Do we, are we expecting another patch? Would we want another patch? Mm. And I think... But before we start, I think very clearly we don't want a patch in the middle of TI. Right? Oh, if they do that, fuck no, right? I, not I mean, if they do that, I, uh, they'll be excused for whatever patch they, they did. That's because uh, if, if they're willing to do that in TI, mm. then I guess right. There's no they really, wala, walang yeah, sacred cow. Wala, wala nang ibang oh. makaangal. So yun yung tanong natin yun. Should patches be you know be saved until after TI at this point? Right? Anything I think. Definitely, because if I were to be asked, it should you know it should have happened Before ever <laughs> since the start of a DPC season. Because I'm I'm good for for changes and buffs and nerfs and whatever updates. Sure. But what you don't want to ruin the competitive integrity of the event just because your favorite hero was 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 um, nerfed to oblivion or your pocket strat was improved basically or you, you lost your pocket strat out Suddenly of the Suddenly the best Pangolier player in the year has access yeah, to Pangolier. It might have been a coincidence and like, they happen to win a major as well. Uh -oh. but, Same but that's major that. by the way. That's, that's something that we don't want to happen especially for TI where for for some of these players it's their career at stake for, for this event. Uh, it could be a make or break thing for them. And looking back at previous TI uh, it most patches actually happen like a month before, around a month before, for TI uh, six and no for TI five and mm. seven. It was the last patch was like a month before. Right. I think the biggest anomaly was TI six, where maybe less than three weeks before the right. event. But yeah. then considering the patches before and patches now, napakalaki ng discrepancy ng uh patches at ngayon considering sa impact na sa game uh, compared sa patches before like the patches we had l post TI uh, pre-TI patch natin last year mas siguro numbers changes lang you know I think it it was the same but uh, similar sa ganun it's a buff nerf but let's say for TI 7 that was 7.06E it happened exactly a month before uh TI and you can see this hero's nerf and buff. Four seven uh comparing natin on June twenty five patch natin last mm -hmm. last week. That was a normal normal Dota patch, a seven point eighteen patch. And what you can see there, there's seventeen more heroes being buffed and nerfed. That's a lot. Like that's like <laughs> yeah, this condensor. is a normal patch. And this is their normal patch. It's not even, you know, a special patch. <laughs> it's not a especially big patch. So, with the timeline of Dota, with the patch happening every two weeks, we are probably expecting a patch this week. Um, again, I, I think there shouldn't be a patch, you know, as close as this uh, for the event. But knowing that there's, there's probably going to be a patch this week, I hope that, I uh, know, that could be, that, that should be the, the last, last patch. The, the last patch before TI. Uh. Uh, anything after that, I think it's going to, it's... Uh, it's probably gonna affect the game considering uh, you know the situation of the teams right now there's not a lot to scrim with the good teams are probably avoiding each other or maybe limited lang kan lang scrim partners because of their level to begin with mm. and then we have this change pa na, uh, how are you supposed to maintain your advantage but I guess you can argue na you know 
there's also a skill in adjusting and learning the, the, the metagame, the new changes. But that's not what we're here for. We want to see who is the best player in our game as we know it, not as how it evolves. I think part of me part of me wants to embrace that. Part of me wants to embrace na sige, lagyan natin ng bagong patch. Okay? Para makita natin who is the best at adapting new strategies. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't like that. Yun nga eh. Part of me wants to make that pero the competitor inside me it, it can't. Kasi I think for a lot of people sinasabi nila ah hindi, kung magaling ka talaga kailangan marunong kang mag-adjust. But that's, that's not true. That Ima- is not true. Imagine if right before the NBA Finals, the three-point line now counts for four points. Big change. Right? Imagine, for example, if the three-point line only counts for two or one point. Two and a half. Two and a half. Hindi natin lang. Diba? But, but that's, ki- that's the kind of level of difference kasi when it comes to these big patches when it comes to Dota. And... When I take a look at it, for me, I have a time limit, siguro. Okay. Uh, tama ka. Like, I think the, the TI6 was the closest. Three weeks, siguro. Right? Um, August. August to yung simula. July 12, nag-patch for 6.88B nung TI 2016. Pero, para sa akin, I think it's July 16 right now. And when you take a look at, what, what is July 16? July 16 is, you know, next, you know, Monday. It's a Monday. And that would be Exactly one month, or you exactly give or take a day, but it's going to be more or less a month before the start of group stages. Mm-hmm. If you have a patch up until then, I'm fine with it. They can even make it a big patch para sa akin. I would. I guess that's fair. I would hope that they don't make it as big of a patch, but even if they move the shrines a, a, a third time, I'm fine with it if it comes a month before mm-hmm. the international. Because I think a month is enough time for the best players in the world to practice enough that pagdating ng TI, it's really the raw skill ang magdadala sa anila and not the fact that merong nabulaga pagdating ng strategies. Because that's what I don't want to happen. I don't want it to become a 50-50% luck and, luck and skill game. Where, wala, swerte kami, nawala yung hero nung itong team na to eh. Or nabuff yung sa amin bigla. I don't want that to happen. Not at TI. So, para sa akin, when you take a look at the rest of the patching that we've done mm-hmm. this year, para sa akin, this is the kind of TI patch that I'm looking for. Now, if we talk at if we take a look at today's pro meta, and this is from the last two months ish, we can see that Io, Night Stalker, Laika, and Beastmaster, and Death Prophet, these are siguro the most contested heroes of the last two months. Yep. Right. We've seen a lot of Chinese teams play it, Beastmaster. Regardless of the nerfs, still getting played. Io, I think, is the biggest one. And we're going to get to him in a bit. But these are the heroes that have... Siguro the, the, they're in the meta. They're in the meta. When we take a look at last year's pre-TI patch, we can see the changes that were done and then how it affected that TI's meta game. For last year, for 7.6e, they nerfed a bunch of heroes. Among them were Batrider, Bristleback, Clockwork, mm-hmm. Darkseer Io. They buffed. Arc Warden, they buffed um, Alchemist, they buffed Brewmaster. But when you take a look at the meta game that evolved from that, may kita mo na not all of these heroes made it. They nerfed Batrider, but Batrider was still the second most picked or banned mm-hmm. at TI. Night Stalker was still the same. No one was picking Alchemist. Arc Warden only OG was playing last year. I think this is a good, this is a good way of patching. Right? Because even though they nerfed or buffed certain heroes, the teams still had enough time to really see, okay, just because tumaas yung numero nitong hero nito doesn't mean we're going to play it because it doesn't fit our playstyle. Right? We saw last year that Liquid was demolishing people with Venomancer and Venomancer was not, in fact, it was nerfed. Pero ginagamit pa rin nila. Yeah, was something different last year that we have to take note of. That yeah. The patches before were farther in between. Yes. So that the meta are able, the meta is able to develop. Yun nga eh, mas um, stable siya. Bago siya, yeah. Uh-oh. Tuwing nagpa-patch. So in this case though, the problem is this big changes happen every two weeks. More That's or my thing. And I'm going to get back to mm-hmm. Ayo now because when you take a look at Ayo, and Ayo jumped, it jumped immensely pagdating in the last three months. Why? Because of a talent change, right? They, they gave him the ability to yeah. transfer Aghanim's bonuses via a talent. They allowed him to have DPS options 
by the level at the, at the time level uh-huh. 15 niya na talent when you tether you attack other uh, th- you attack the same target that you, that someone is that, that, that the person you're tethered to is yeah right i think the acronym is still uh, it's still there <laughs> it's, and, and it's a big reason why it's, it's, it's a, the change it. plus i think the skill level of people now yeah. it's not just a few players or a few teams right. playing io uh, siguro ti4 season you have io specialists in the world yep. pero now siguro every other pro level team should have an io player yeah I say, uh, diba? And trouble, that's right? because of one skill change. That's too big. That's too big. If we're going to make a patch na ganong kalaki yung, yung impact, they have to do it ahead of time. They cannot introduce, kunwari, sabihin lang natin, and I'm sure this is not going to happen, although if it does, ewan ko na lang, I don't know how the pros will react, but if August comes by mm-hmm. and someone has the same amount of talent change na ganong kalaki yung impact as Ayo, I don't think anyone is going to be happy. Right? For for the pros, they're definitely not going to be happy. Because with only sagbi nating on August 1, nagpatch tayo. In 15 days, you have to learn an entirely new hero because of how warping this one changes. I don't think that's going to be. Maybe me less considering travel time and you know, Exactly, right? And there's, stuff. there's media day, there these yeah, the definitely teams less. have other things to worry about. They're going to have less than the actual prescribed days in order to figure out how broken these things are. And it's going to be either ineffectual because I it's going to be banned. And that, it, that, that stage is just going to be who's going to exploit that the most if so there's no. a change at that, at that late. Yeah. Or if there's someone who's going to spot this. Because there's other you know changes that who, who doesn't seem OP at first. Mm. But we see how like a simple armor change can oh. affect a hero's you said shit. But in my mind, I kind of prefer that. Eh. Again, you agree just because na ano natin. Kaya ako inumpare yung today's pro meta with last year's PTI patches because last year's PTI patch they were tweaking small numbers. Yes. Siguro the biggest talent changes were removing the the XP and the minus death, uh, minus death CD. Na, but they did that all the way in in my head. It's in April, right? They did it after Kiev, right? IO, the IO changes that we saw this year were of that level. They were that big. And I don't want to see that so close to TI. If they're going to do it, I have a time limit. It has to be on or before July 16th. Anything past that, I think they're playing with fire. Number one, I don't think the pros are going to be happy. But more subtly, I think it's not going to be the best for fans. Because for fans, okay, okay, manonood ka. Oy, biglang mayroong talent na sobrang flashy, sobrang ganda. Okay, matutuwa ka. Mm-hmm. But then after a while, especially for the hardcore fans, iisipin nila, actually, wala, hindi naman magaling yung team na yun eh. Gumaling lang sila kasi meron pala silang ganung player agad. It's going to <laughs> leave a That's question true. mark on the competitive integrity of Dota. And I don't want that to happen. Not for TI. Siguro for a minor, okay pa sa akin eh. Pero ikaw, sa tingin mo ba, nung across the season, was it okay that we had it for minors and majors? Uh, l- l- later on, I-, I think it's again it's something that m- that kind of grew on me because it it is the case. Hmm. No, I have to uh, accept the fact that there's gonna be a patch every hmm. more or less every two weeks. So when they announced that it's gonna happen after a tournament, that's a very very positive news for me. I was very delighted with that change, and I I hope this this they, they stick that way. And moving forward i kind of hope that they kind of do it now after every major cycle not yeah. every two weeks i think that would be the most ideal for me you have enough time especially for ti you determine the best teams on how the game is right not on how the game will be you know Totoo, na, na may variable Kasi parang toss coin eh, di ba? Na parang, okay to an extent yes because as, as no matter uh, kahit sabihin mo na there's a big factor in adjustment and that's probably a, a good thing to have for a team there's we cannot also deny the fact that there are players who are better in certain heroes and oh. their teams are better with certain strategies. And it kind it, yeah, in that in that sense it's kind of toss coin up getting the na oh the the we play this way is playing this way is kinda good in this meta mm-hmm. but then a simple patch can just screw over. Toto. I think para sa akin, and just to explain a little bit further for people who might not understand kung bahit ayaw natin na masyadong, masyadong game breaking na patch. When a patch hits and so game game changing. Game yeah, changing, game, yeah, 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 game changing. But when a patch hits, and for example, let's say kami ni Ren, dalawa pro pro teams, right? Mm-hmm. 
Ren, and I'm going to use this, but I'm not, I'm not macking on, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not putting down another team that did this. But let's say Ren is the world's best Dark Willow player mm-hmm. in Team A. But Dark Willow is not a good hero right now. Uh, sa team ko naman, uh, we have a different strategy. You have techies. Sure, techies. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why do I have the because anyway? <laughs> it's gonna appear this TI. A patch happens, and Dark Willow is suddenly buffed very, very well. Na sobrang lakas na niya. Okay? Mag, nag, maglalaban tayo. I lose to you. Here's what happened there. Now, what happened there now is yes, I could have banned that hero. I could have banned that hero. But if I banned that hero, nothing that Ren did before our match or in, in our match earned that ban. Mm-hmm. Yes. If I don't ban it and nakuha mo yung Dark Willow at natalo nyo kami, you also didn't earn that advantage. Nangyari lang yun because Ice Frog decided to buff this hero. Yun yung ayaw mo in a competitive, in a competitive scene. Yeah. Gusto mo, all of those wins are earned. If natalo mo sila with this, it's because you were better at using this. But just dahil naswertehan lang na lumabas tong hero na to, na buff to, and they happen to have a good player on it, that's what I don't want. Not a TI. Siguro for minors, may intindihan ko pa eh. And that's, I think that's one of the things that I'm disappointed about with well, At least we're seeing, you know, at least, regardless kung may patch or not, we're not gonna be seeing new heroes added. So that's just <laughs> so, a plus. Because so, oh, that's well, a different bigger case. It's not lang, even oh. buff or nerf. Something. It happened this year na heroes were added you know, yeah, yeah, days oh. before the event or or no, sure. while the event during was happening, the event. Oh. Yeah, the event. Uh, one day after the event, heroes were added back into the pool, right? so. so, yeah, I think, I think, Ian, I think we're we're both the same. I think this, I we're expecting a patch, probably this week. You're expecting it this week, probably this week, yeah, because the last one was June twenty five. If mm. they shoot for every other two weeks, it should be due sometime this week. So it should be around Thursday. Ngayon sa atin, right? Uh, twenty five was a Monday, so they kind of deviated because of the events. Yeah, but it was event, but so wala silang event na pagaan hon ngayon. So yeah, let's see. But I do hope that if it does come the one this week or uh, from your side, the latest is next week. Mm. I hope they stay they stick to that until TI. I hope they stick to that until TI. I don't think you know anyone is uh, really looking forward to a patch like a day after TI. If that happens, I th- I think people will be up in arms. Yeah, because they just want. Immortal. Ayun lang. They just want Immor- Immortal 3. I would... Immortal 3. Just give me Immortal 3. Not next week. <laughs> just give it to me this week, you know? Alright, but we'll move to our last topic of the day. And this 